So I know what you're thinking. Those are some pretty big name baddies. Who the hell else could they get to top all that? Well, the answer might actually surprise you. So let's not wait any longer. The number one greatest Disney animated film villain is... The Devil from Fantasia. Now I know what you're thinking. He didn't do anything. He didn't hatch any diabolical plans or ruin anybody's life. But here's the thing. It's the devil! He is evil incarnate! You look at this guy and tell me that not one of these characters is not working for, with, or was inspired by this guy. He doesn't talk, doesn't sing, and doesn't even mess around with any of the good guys. But that's how the devil works. He doesn't strike people down like Maleficent or scheme evil plots like Frollo. He's working through them, motivating them, and encouraging every ounce of evil that they do. He doesn't even need an introduction. You just see him and you can feel the evil. How can you not be intimidated when those evil eyes pop up and the music builds? The devil is often perceived as something that you can't see. Well, if you could, this is what he would look like. And this is what he would do, playing God with the dead, bringing spirits back to life just so he can destroy them again. He turns beauty into filth, moonlight into fire, and cries for help into consumption and greed. Ultimately, though, the devil can't compete with the heavenly light that comes in at the end, and leads to what is probably Disney's most powerful and beautiful moment ever put on screen. This portion of Fantasia was daring and controversial, even spawning one of the first Disney nipples ever to be seen. Oh my god, women have nipples! My childhood is ruined! There's no doubt about it, the devil encompassed everything. He was everything dark, everything hateful, everything cruel, and everything lusting for power. He was the master of all darkness and portrayed just as that, seeing absolutely no element of good in him. An all-around perfect portrayal of evil. The devil the number one greatest Disney animated villain. That's not the devil from Fantasia! Again, I think this one is sort of debatable. According to a lot of people, and even many of them from Disney, the monster on Bald Mountain is a creature named... Ch Chernobog? Chernobug? Ch tomato, tomato. So everyone kept pointing out to me that this was in fact not the devil. But let's really look at this for a second. You got a horned creature with minions dancing around him, bathing in fire, celebrating all that is evil, and the only thing that can stop him is the sound of church bells and Ave Maria. It's the devil! Who are you kidding? You can call him Mr. Fluffy for all I care, and it would still be the devil! Oh yeah, and this little bit of information might mean something. Bald Mountain, according to tradition, is the gathering place of Satan and his followers. DEVIL! THAT'S THE FUCKING DEVIL! WHAT MORE DO YOU NEED? Oh well, if you want to call him Churn Butter or whatever his name is, that's fine. But for me, and I think everybody who saw this for the very first time, it's the devil. DEVIL! LUCIFER! Don't you mean Chernabog? WHATEVER! 